Hello world, this is Fleet Hacker 0007 and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial of the Tor browser for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. So, basically what the Tor browser is, is it is a web browser that enables you to surf the internet anonymously. It's great for uh, several different things. It's great. For, one thing it's great for is if there's a website you want to visit, but you don't want that website being able to get your IP address, know where your computer is, or know who you are. Or it's great for if you want to visit a website, and like maybe you, for some reason, you don't want your ISP knowing that you visited that website. And it's also great for bypassing internet filters and stuff, which I actually believe I have how to do in a different video, like maybe if you're on an internet connection that blocks your access to certain websites, well the Tor browser is also great for bypassing stuff like that. So what you're going to want to do to get it is just go to this website, torproject.org, and click download Tor. And it will automatically link, give you a download link to whatever operating system you have. It says Tor Browser for Windows for me because my computer is a Windows. However, if you got on, however, if you have a Mac, it should automatically give you the Mac download link and and so on and so forth. But if you if it doesn't give you the right operating system, then you can just click on one of these links down here. They have a link for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and Linux and Unix. I mean, and uh, just click that, and you will get a download link to that operating system. So once you've got the right operating system selected, just click download Tor browser. And if you're on a Windows computer, it will download an installer and you just run that installer and that will install the Tor software on your computer. If you're on a Mac, it will download an extracting file. You just extract that file and then copy the app called Tor browser to your um, applications folder. So. Once you've done that, I'll need to do it because I already have the Tor software on my computer. You just want to, if you're on a Windows, you just want to click Start Tor Browser. And then if you're on a Mac or Mac, you just want to open the app called Tor Browser. And when you open it for the first time, it will um, come to this screen. Now, if you need to bring up this screen again for whatever reason, you can just click on uh, Settings when it's when it's trying to get a connection to Tor. So, there will be two options here. There will be one that will say, I would like to connect directly to the Tor network. You can click this one if you're just like on like a normal home internet connection. Whereas like if you're a, if you if you are on a, by chance on a network that has like a proxy server or a firewall, you're going to want to, you're gonna to have to click on this one configure and uh, put those proxy server settings in and the firewall settings in and all that. But my network doesn't have any of that stuff on it as yours shouldn't if it's like just a normal home internet connection. So in that case, you just click connect and it's going to say it's connecting to the Tor network. And this shouldn't take more than a minute or so for it to do. And then once it's done setting up, it'll say welcome to the Tor browser. You are now free to browse the internet anonymously. So basically you can go to any website you want. The one thing is I would not recommend using Google as your search engine in this browser because Google will uh, try and block, Google could try and block it because it's an anonymous IP address. So what I would recommend doing is going to startpage.com, which is a completely private version of Google that I actually do a review of in a different video on my channel, I believe. And then once you're at this uh, search engine, you can just uh, search for whatever you want. And then I'm just going to click on a random website. Click not now if this pops up and then this website I just visited because I visited it in the Tor browser window will not have any possible way of knowing where my computer is located, my IP address, or who I am at all. So, to prove this to you, I'm going to look up an IP tracker. 
करतात This here is pretty good IP tracking website. And as you can see, here's the IP address that the Tor browser has given me. And uh, as you can see, this what because of this Tor browser. This website thinks I'm in Amsterdam, which I'll give you, I won't tell you where I am, but no, I am not in Amsterdam. Essentially what the Tor browser does is it basically routes your internet traffic that you send through the Tor browser to a network of proxy servers that are called relays. And these servers are just located in like completely random places all over the world, which keeps it pretty anonymous. It will use a proxy server in a completely different part of the world than you and basically allow you to be completely anonymous to websites on the internet as that is as long as you don't give them like your name or like your contact information or any information that a website could use to identify you or contact you so that's about it for this video uh, I would recommend reading some stuff on the Tor website about the program, this program. But that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is Fleet Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and see you next video.